Hello and welcome to the Rhubarb Room and thank you for joining me for a quite strange video. I'm going to say this is probably a crazy idea, don't do it. But uh, this is going to be, I try every single iced coffee that I can find and buy in the UK. And as you can see, there's quite a lot. I've kind of lost count. There's about 30 something. Actually, let's quickly count it. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we've got 34 iced coffees. Uh, so we've got, we've, got, um, we've got lattes here. There's a few caramel ones mixed in. Uh, we've got cappuccinos. Um, then we've got, what we've got here, I've forgotten already. We've got mocha here, so I only found two mochas. Um, we've got, this is kind of a blend of black coffee and just flat white coffees. And then we've kind of got like the special category over here. Um, you probably can't see all this. Um, there is another camera here, so this can be a nice sip shop sort of thing. And uh, yeah, obviously it makes it look more professional with two cameras, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off with the latte section and the winner of this section is going to be put forward and then the winner from every subsequent section is going to be put forward and then i shall choose a winner from all of them and see who which is the best iced coffee latte mocha thing that you can buy when it's hot in summer yeah so let's let's go ahead and get on with it so let's start with we have got jude's flat white coffee yeah it's got a nice little can hasn't it it's it's the only one I could find that was made by Jude. Let's give it a little bit of a shake. So, oh god, that's sprayed everywhere. So it is very hot at the moment in the UK and it's getting hot around the world. So I thought if people are traveling here in the near future, well, not probably not in the near future, but some point soon in the future, uh, you know exactly which cold coffee beverage to go and get instead of just buying one and then being sourly disappointed with yourself for making the decision when you knew you should have got the other one. Um, but yeah, this is Jude's flat white coffee, which now that I think about it should have been over here. So let's start with the with the normal coffees, with the flat whites and the blacks, and then we'll move over there. Sorry to make it jump about a bit, but uh, yeah, let's give it a go. That's actually pretty good. Not not too bad. It's quite milky to be fair, but the actual coffee taste it's uh, it's missing it a little bit. It's it's quite sweet. Five out of ten. So we've done that one. Let's move on to Bottle Shot Cold Brew Coffee Black. Um, that's just dirty water. That is dirty water. Not gonna lie, it's definitely dirty water. That's a that's a two out of ten. Definitely. There's no. The thing is, it's not. It's not bitter. It doesn't just. It doesn't taste like fruity or anything it's slightly sweet almost in a way which is a bit odd and it just yeah it's just it's just like muddy water okay let's move on to the to the other one I'll get that one rinsed out let's go get this one back um, let's go for Starbucks double shot espresso and for those of you worried that this is a lot of caffeine it is so we have that looks very milky gotta say very milky I think Smells all right and smells quite milky like it looks. That's that's milk. That is milk. It's how is this a double shot? There's no coffee in it. It's just milk. How? It's sweet milk. That's all it is. It's, it's just sweet milk. Um, two out of ten. Let's move on. Let's go for. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is the no added sugar double shot espresso. So let, let's try that. Maybe this one will be a little bit better. Obviously, should have a little less sugar, so we might be able to taste the coffee a bit more. It's got the same colour, I would say. That's a lot nicer, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, five out, of, five out of ten. That is a lot better than the standard one. You can taste the coffee a lot more in that, and it's just it just tastes less milky. So that one's good. Uh, so the highest we've got to is a five, I think. So it's not looking great so far. But now we have Costa, Costa Coffee Americano, straightforward double shot espresso. Um, 
um, it doesn't really taste too much. It's not as dirty, watery like the bottle shot one. It's acceptable. 4 out of 10. Next, let's go for the Arctic White Coffee Intenso. I'd say this one's a little bit darker than the, than the Starbucks one. Um, this, ha this is promising. This tastes like if you forgot your instant coffee out uh, in the morning and then you came back to it and couldn't be bothered to put it in the microwave to heat it up. And then uh, you just decided to drink it cold. That's, that's what it tastes like. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Five out of 10. <laughs> now we got the Nescafe Azera Nitro Double Espresso Flat White. This one has a very similar color to the, to the Arctic one. So let's give, let's give this a go. I mean, it's not even, it has no flavor. It's just, there, there's no flavor. It's just this milky thing, really. It's just, yeah, hardly any flavor to that at all. These have been somewhat disappointing. I'd say that's a, that's a, that's a three out of 10, a three out of 10. Let's go on to, actually, if this could have been in the special one, but I thought it is an espresso. So let's go for the monster. Um, attempt at doing an espresso. This would be ironic if it is actually the best one. Okay, so that is, I'd say, quite similar to the Starbucks one in terms of colour. It's, it's a little bit fruity. It, it, it almost, it almost has the taste of an energy drink mixed with coffee. I don't know if that's actually what they've done, but. This is, this is a difficult one. The initial taste is actually quite good and probably maybe on par with the be best one here. Um, but then the aftertaste is really interesting. Five out of 10. I'd say that's, that's equal with the be better ones, but the, the aftertaste is a bit too energy drinky almost. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So it is quite odd, but let's move on to the last uh, one in the category of black and flat whites and Americanos and that is Kuka cold brew coffee and this is the this is one of the only ones well this is the only one in the um, black coffees and flat white department that actually comes with a glass bottle so it does look like a little bit of like a medicine bowl I do have high hopes for this one to be honest it smells the best so far actually before tasting it, it does smell the best one it's got it does smell of coffee no no that is, oh, that is awful. On the back, it's a natural, sugar-free, low acidity, plant-based. I mean, no, why? It, it's hot, Ugh. one out of 10. Oh, no, that is, oh, oh, that is awful. It's, um, it's just like a coffee that's gone off. I, I don't know. It just tastes off. Oh, that's that's almost giving me like an instant headache. That, that is that is not nice. That is definitely not nice. Um, so yeah, I would say um, none of these are really stand out. There's a, there's a couple that are joint to be honest. I would say I don't know to be honest. It might it might have to go to the Starbucks double shot espresso, the one that is the no added sugar one. Um, this one is, is is terrible, but this one's actually it's actually okay. And then the Arctic one, that's not too bad either. So we'll put three forward as the best ones in that category. Which I'm really surprised that the monster ones actually got there. So we'll move these ones back, and let's go for the latte section. This is going to be a really long video, but I hope you're enjoying it. If you are. Maybe do leave a like and also maybe consider subscribing because that would be fantastic and it would really help me out. Um, and of course, it would help the YouTube algorithm, the the Lord that is, um, yeah, help rank this video slightly higher so that my money hasn't gone all to waste. Um, so yeah, let's get into the Costa Coffee Vanilla Latte. You can smell the vanilla straight away. Very artificial vanilla, but. Awful. That is horrible. 
if you put a drop of that really artificial Madagascar vanilla that you can find in those little bottles into some milk, that's what it tastes like. And then if you maybe like threw in a coffee bean and just let it float on top for like 20 seconds, that is that. Is that. One out of 10. Let's go for, oh no, it's another, this is another Costa one. This is just their normal latte. So hopefully that is better. Again, that's, it's just milk. That is, it's just milk. It's milk with a bean of coffee in. Slightly better than the vanilla one. Two out of 10. Yeah, so far nothing getting above a five. That's, that's quite interesting. I would have thought we would have had a few, a few better ones. But um, there's, there's plenty yet to go still. So let's go with the Arctic Coffee Caramel Latte. So that sounds, sounds pretty good. Ooh, that's a lot of caramel, but it's not bad. Not much coffee, again, quite milky. Four, four out of 10. So let's move on to the Arctic Coffee Cafe Latte. By the way, if you have tried any of these, do let me know what you thought about them. I, what would you say my score is? Is it, is it in line with what you think, or am I completely off, or do I not know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these before. Or let me know if there are other ones that I haven't managed to find. I know I haven't managed to find one or two of the Lavazza ones, and I think I'm missing one or two of the Starbucks ones, uh, but I just couldn't find those anywhere. So yeah, let me know if those ones are better and if you tried them or if you want me to try them in the uh, in the future. But yeah, like I said, the Arctic Coffee um, Cafe Latte. Again, it has kind of that instant coffee taste. I'm not mad at it though. I'm not upset. Five out of 10. Right, let's get another Starbucks item. This is the Cafe Latte from, Cafe Latte from Starbucks even. Um, this is one with a straw, so we'll just open that up a little bit from the side. Interesting. The milk ha it has an interesting af aftertaste, this, to be honest. It's, uh, it's, it's not bad, sweet. It has a bit more coffee than some of the other ones. Four out of ten. I think I'm starting to feel it now. This is this is a lot of coffee. Um, this is the Nescafe Azera Nitro Latte. So let's try that. That's all. That's a. That's a two. Maybe, yeah, that's a two. It's it's not great. It, it really isn't great. I there's not much to say about that. It just doesn't taste of anything. So yeah, it's just tasteless. Uh, well, now we've got the Costa Caramel Latte. This sounds pretty good, but so far a lot of the other things have been pretty disappointing. So um, I'm not gonna set my expectations too high. Again, they just don't really taste so much. It's just, it's just like milk, like all of them. I know the like, this one, this one to be honest as well. It doesn't even have any caramel in it. It's this one, this caramel latte has caramel. The the Arctic coffee one, but this Costa one, like it, it's just there's hardly anything in there. Three out of ten. Let's go for the Lavazza. Vanilla latte. So this is our first Lavazza uh, item. I was a bit disappointed I couldn't get there to just double shot espresso, but let's see if the vanilla latte is quite good. That's good. This is generally the first one that I would say is good. You can taste the vanillas in there. It doesn't have like an overly artificial taste. A little bit of coffee comes through and then it's milky but it's not overly milky and it's not too sweet either. 7 out of 10. This is the highest rated so far. Thank god we've got we've got above the, the 5 out of 10s. Yeah, that is all the all the lattes. So the, yeah, the best one, the standout one is the Lavazza one. So we saved the best till last. So I'll put that forward as their nomination. 
um, for that category. Right then, moving on to the cappuccino uh, section. So this, we have the Emmy Cafe Latte. It says Cafe Latte on it, but then it's got cappuccino at the top, so it's a little bit confusing, but we'll say it's a cappuccino. At first, I thought this was actually going to be quite good because the the very the, the initial taste you get is actually quite nice. It's just the aftertaste that is very just very artificial. Yeah, it's it's, it's not great. It's 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 the aftertaste that lets it down. But the initial taste is all right. Four out of ten. Let's move on to the Starbucks cappuccino. And I'm sorry if you can hear people cutting grass. But it is a very nice day, so you can't blame them. Okay, from the colour, Starbucks one has a bit of promise. I'm surprised this isn't the mocha. Because it definitely says cappuccino. Um, oh, it does say a chilled blend of bold espresso milk with hints of cocoa flavour. I'd say that's more than hints. It's... That's a mocha, or well, it's almost approaching just cold chocolate milk, almost. It's not bad though, five out of 10. And then we have the last one for the cappuccino section. It's not a very large one. Uh, we have the Lavazza cappuccino. So the, was it a cafe latte? No, it was just a, the vanilla latte for the Lavazza was quite nice. So hopefully this follows its lead and is also quite good. Yeah, that's good. I don't think as good as the vanilla latte though. I'd have to say, hmm, they're actually quite close. This is basically the vanilla latte without the vanilla, I'm, I'm thinking. Six out of 10. So that's it for that. So we'll put the cappuccino forward there for that section. And now let's move into the mochas. We've already got two of them. Um, so first we have the Arctic coffee mocha. And I'm, I'm really starting to feel all the coffees now. But we're more than halfway, so let, let's let's keep going. Oh, this is dark. Smells pretty good. Oh, that is that's not very good. It's it's very bitter. It just tastes like. Um, instant coffee with some cocoa powder in it and not very good cocoa powder nah that's not great 2 out of 10 the last one for the mocha category is one that I've never really seen before but I found it so I thought I'd get it it's from Minor Figures and uh, actually I just realised this, this should be in the special section because it does have oat milk uh, instead of regular milk, so um, yeah, it is a vegan friendly, a vegan friendly drink. But we'll we'll keep it in the mocha section for now. My God, that was angry. I don't know if you heard that, but that was like that was growling at me. Oh, it's like got some smoke coming out of it. What the hell? I'd say probably about the same as the other one in terms of colour. This has got pieces in it. Is that oats? That's different, definitely. Oh, it's got it's got a really nasty aftertaste. It's not it's it's not mine. It's not for me. It, it says on here nitro infused. I don't know if that's the flavour I'm tasting. Um, no, just no. That no. One out of ten. I don't like that. Right, none of these get nominated. The mockers, they you can get out of here. They're not good. The mockers, they can just disappear. Right then. So now we are on to our last section. I have got a caffeine headache, I'm not gonna lie. But we will press on, we've only got, I don't know, two, four, six, eight, ten, we've got 12 left. In the special section we shall go for the Vita Coco cold brew coffee with coconut milk. Actually quite intrigued to try this one. 
Oh, that's interesting. It almost has like a like a little film on top, which I'm guessing is the coconut milk not quite mixing with the water, basically. Because I suppose it is more of a fat. Um, but yeah, let's let's see if it go. I wasn't expecting that. It's um, it's a bit sour. It is in date. <laughs> not a massive fan of that. Two out of ten. Moving on, we have. This is just a skinny version of um, I don't know. It's just cafe latte, but the other one said cafe latte. I don't know really. I don't really know what this is. It just says Emmy skinny. So, well, yeah, it might be a cafe latte. Not bad. Four out of ten. Let's go for. Let's go for the Califia Mocha Cold Brew Coffee with almond, and this is vegan, dairy-free. This actually, these ones come in quite a large bottle, and they're only slightly more expensive than the rest of them, really. So, oh, that looks looks quite promising. Looks like chocolate, to be fair. Not tasting... It's not bad. That's actually that's quite good. Can't taste much almond. There is a little hint of almond in there. The coffee's not too bitter. It's not that sweet either. It's, it's, it's alright. Uh, six out of ten. Let's go for a 6 out of 10 with that one. One of the highest rated ones. Um, let's move on to its brother or sister. Um, this is the Califia Double X Espresso. And again, it has almond in it and it's uh, vegan and dairy free. has an interesting so in so a lot of these they have an interesting aftertaste whereas this one this has an interesting initial taste and then it becomes a lot nicer afterwards um, the same with this one to be honest um, not bad though not about 10 okay so moving on we're gonna go for the Starbucks in a glass bottle um, frappuccino and on the side it just says coffee because that's interesting because there is another one that is a cappuccino but it is different so let's try this one first the one that's just coffee that's quite nice a little sweet a little milky like the rest of the Starbucks stuff um, but the coffee flavors a lot better than some of the other stuff so six out of ten that's at the front so far uh, now let's go for bottle shot cold brew coffee with oat milk. Now, this black coffee was awful, so hopefully the one with oat milk is okay, but I don't really hold too much hope if they're using the same coffee. Oh, it's very, it's not very creamy, but I wouldn't expect that from oat milk. So yeah, this one as well has little bits in which I'm guessing is just little bits of oats, like one of the other ones, I forget which one. But yeah, has little bits of oats in there. Again, it's it's just this coffee with a little bit of oat milk. It is better than this. I can't remember what I gave this. I think this is a one or a two. Um, I'll give it a three, four. Let's go four. We'll be a bit more generous. So let's go four. Moving on, I'm actually getting quite excited that we're nearing the end because I have had too much caffeine and too much coffee. My stomach is hating me right now, I'll be honest. Maybe I've been having a bit too, too much of each one, but we shall press on. This one, before I actually open it, is another minor figures. This is a latte and it is um, oat milk. So interestingly, I banished the mocha one. I did banish the, 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 the mocha minor figures. So. I'm not really looking forward to this one, but we'll see. Again, this is nitro infused, so you know, nitro. But again, 
you can tell because it's exploded all of that. Oh, again, it has that horrible smell. Like, that had a horrible aftertaste, but I can smell it on this one. I'm really not looking forward to it. It's not good. It's really not good. Like, oh God, it's awful. It is so bad. Oh, I hate it. I don't even think it's the oat milk because I quite like the bottle shop one with oat milk. So I don't know what they're doing. What, they what are you doing? Why are they doing this? No, that's banished. That doesn't get a score. Doesn't get one. I refuse to score that. No. All right, let's move on. I need to cleanse my palette or something. Let's go for the Costa flat white so this one accidentally missed out from this section so my bad on that one but we can always place it back in here not bad five out of ten we'll put that we'll put that here that can be level with these ones to be honest so moving on to the next one let's go for the coconut based coca cappuccino this is another interesting one this is from Starbucks oh my that is that is thick. Look at that, that is, that is thick. Why is it so thick? Okay, let's, let's give it a go. Oh my, that is so thick. Pretty good though. I'm surprised that it's a lot better than the Vita Coca one, which is, uh, you know, usually known for making drinks with coconut. Um, but this is, this is a lot better than the Vita Coca one. This is um, this is quite good. A bit different. You can taste the coconut in there. Six out of ten. Let's move on to another Starbucks item. This is the caramel macchiato. Mm, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Five out of ten. Sweet. Caramelly is what it says it is, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with that. It, yeah, that's not bad. Five out of ten. The penultimate one. Let's go for the Nescafe Azera Nitro Salted Caramel Latte. Again, I these Nescafe Azera ones have been so disappointing. Like so disappointing yeah I don't I don't know why they're just not very nice the it doesn't even taste the caramel I cannot taste the caramel and god if yeah it's not even salted it's just a latte it is one sec let me just try this this is this is the actual latte Okay, so the salted caramel one is ever so slightly sweeter than the normal latte. That that is not salted caramel. It, it, it's not. That's a lie. You know what? You can get banished for that. That that's banished. That's that's a, that's a straight up lie. That is not salted caramel. Liars. I'm not scoring that. Okay, and the last one is another frappuccino in a glass. Um, this is the caramel flavour one, so we've had the coffee one, which I think I gave a 6, so I think that's the best rated one out of the specials so far. But yeah, I'm actually really glad that we're on the last one, because I don't think my stomach can take much more. Oh, okay. That's very sweet as you'd expect. I can't actually taste any coffee in it. Four out of ten. There's like, there's not really any coffee in there. It's just caramel milk, which is, it's good, but it's not, not frappuccino, I don't think. Okay then, so that's basically all of them done. Again, we have the best ones at the front from each section. So, I don't know if I've, should I try them again? I think I already know which one's better, but I'll, I'll have a sip of each one quickly. I think the win one of the winners is going to be the Lavazza overall, um, just because, yeah, I think it is the best one. So we'll go with the vanilla latte first. Yeah, good. They're very close. I can't remember if I said the vanilla latte was better. 
It was the cappuccino, but now I'm thinking the cappuccino is actually better. They're actually really close. These are both an eight. The the two Lavazzas, they are they they're both an eight. They're actually really good. So we'll put those right out in front, up here, and then we've got the Costa flat white. In comparison, actually, not not really good. Then we got the Starbucks double shot, the, the no added sugar one. Much better than the Costa, but not as good. I'd say, in hindsight, a seven. The Costa Americano. Not bad. I'd say a six. And then again, we'll have another go of the monster, and uh, the yeah, the monster triple shot. Again, I kind of like it. I, I don't know what it is. I do kind of like it. This may sound a bit weird. It's almost a little bit cheesy. I know that sounds horrendous, but it's it's actually pretty good. I'd say that's that's probably level with the Starbucks one. So um, let's say eight, six, six, five, and then for the coffee frappuccino one from Starbucks, a bit sweet, five, and then finally the coconut one which I, I remember I thinking was actually quite good. Now trying it compared to those, I'd say that's a four, uh, but still not bad. And then I think there was one more uh, actually, which is the uh, Mocha Cold Brew. Try a bit of that. Not as good as when I first did it either, really, I don't think. I'd say that's a four as well. So to conclude, don't have this much coffee because I am regretting it quite hard, to be honest with you. I am, I am regretting it. Um, but hey, now you know which ones you maybe want to try by. Uh, I would suggest the Lavazza ones. It's a shame I couldn't get the, um, I think they do just an espresso shot one, so it's a shame I couldn't find that one, but the vanilla latte and cappuccinos are generally quite good. They are good. And um, if, if that fails, go with the Starbucks double shot espresso, but the no added sugar one, because the normal one is actually not very nice. Sorry, again, it's all that coffee coming up. Yeah, the non-added sugar double shot espresso is good. And then if you can't find that, maybe if you're feeling a bit adventurous, uh, go for the monster one. It is an interesting taste. I don't think it's one that everybody's going to like, but um, yeah, it's definitely interesting. Uh, but then if you like your black coffee, I would say go with the, the Costa Americano, um, just because it's the one that has... Just it's, just it's just got more flavor. The other black coffees like the Kuka one, that one I was actually still really disappointed with. I was really looking forward to that one. Um, and then if you want something a bit sweeter, maybe go with the um, the Starbucks coffee um, frappuccino. And then if you are vegan or non-dairy based, then maybe go with the coconut uh, Starbucks because uh, that is actually quite nice. A lot better than the and the Vita one, I think, and then otherwise you have the other option, you go with the Califia one. Um, but also the other Califia one is quite good as well. Um, so yeah, to wrap it up, I think we found a couple options um, that I think I'll, now I finally know which ones I'll be going for. I'll always try find the Lavazza ones now, and I will try that espresso shop from them at some point. Uh, but yeah, if I can't find those ones, I'll just go for one of these ones, and the rest of them, they're just they're just a bit average and of course we have the banish section over here I would suggest stay away from these from the from the minor figures one that no it, it's, it's not very nice unless you have unless you've had it before and you specifically like that flavor just don't go for it and to be honest the Nescafe zero ones they're not great either um, yeah they're just not fantastic but uh, yeah, let's wrap this up because this is already probably a super long video. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. Let me know if you're going to go buy one of these. If you did go buy one of these and uh, what you thought about it. Did you think I was completely wrong? Did you hate one of them? And uh, let me know if you try the uh, monster one and tell me if you think it tastes a little bit cheesy but also quite nice at the same time in an odd, in an odd kind of way. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it from me. So goodbye and ciao ciao.